Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Do you find it difficult to read the markets and predict the price movements for the next day or for a few days? Even though stock trading is a game of probability, we can actually predict the market moves by understanding the market behavior. The Elliott wave theory and patterns can help you in understanding the market behavior. Elliott wave theory was developed by Ralph Nelson Elliott in the 1930s. Elliott believed that stock markets, which is generally thought to behave in somewhat random and chaotic manner, is in fact a series of repetitive patterns, or simply the Elliott wave theory suggests that movements of the markets follow a sequence of cycles which are associated with the crowd psychology. The Elliott wave principle is a form of technical analysis that helps traders in analyzing the financial market cycles. We have talked about the different stages of the stock market in our price action trading course. So if you want to know more about it, please check out that video. With the help of Elliott wave theory, the traders can actually forecast the market trends by identifying the extremes in the prices and the psychology of investors or the traders. However, the Elliott wave should not be considered as a technical indicator, but actually it is a theory that helps in predicting the behavior of the market. Let us understand what exactly is Elliott wave theory. The Elliott wave theory suggests that stock prices moves continuously up and down in the same pattern. Now the patterns are formed according to the ongoing market sentiment which alternates between the bullish and bearish cycles. So these price swings which forms the same repetitive patterns in the financial markets are named as waves and they are formed by the trader's mass psychology. Now the Elliott wave can be categorized into motive waves and corrective waves. Talking about motive waves, these waves moves in the direction of the main trend. That is, if a stock is in an uptrend, the motive waves are in the direction of the uptrend. The motive waves consist of five waves that are labeled as wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5. The waves 1, 2 and 3 moves in the same direction as that of the trend, whereas the waves 2 and 4 move in the opposite direction of the trend. So the motive waves are usually of two types. They are impulse waves and diagonal waves. Talking about the second category, the corrective waves are those counter the main trend or which moves against the main trend. The corrective waves are more complex than motive waves. Now there are three types of corrective waves. They are zigzag waves, diagonal waves and triangle waves. We will talk about all of them in detail. Let's take a look at the first type of motive wave, which is the impulse wave. So it is the most common type of motive wave and therefore it is also the easiest to spot in the market. Like all the motive waves, the impulse wave has also 5 sub waves. There are 3 motive waves and 2 corrective waves and these are labeled as a 53535 5, structure. However, the formation of the wave is based on a set of rules. These set of rules are really crucial because if any of them are violated, then the wave formed is not an impulse wave. The three rules for the impulse wave formation are number one, wave two cannot retrace more than 100% of wave one. Second rule is that wave three can never be the shortest of waves one, three and five which means that wave 3 has to be either greater than 1 or 5 or both. And the final rule is that wave 4 can never overlap wave 1. If all these rules are satisfied, then the wave formed is an impulse wave. Now let's take a look at the second type of motive wave, that is the diagonal wave. Like all the motive waves, the diagonal waves also consist of 5 sub waves and it moves in the direction of the trend. The diagonal wave looks like a wedge that may be either expanding or contracting type. All the three rules of the impulse wave also applies to the diagonal waves. Like each sub wave of the diagonal wave does not fully retrace the previous sub wave. The sub wave 3 of the diagonal is not the shortest wave, etc. The diagonal waves can be further divided into ending and leading diagonals. Now let's start our discussion on the corrective waves. Let us start with the first type that is zigzag waves. The zigzag is a corrective wave that is made up of three waves labeled as A, B and C that moves strongly up or down. 
the a and c waves are the motive waves whereas the b wave is the corrective move zigzag patterns are sharp declines in a bull rally or advances in a bear rally that substantially correct the price level of the previous impulse pattern or the previous motive pattern another speciality about the zigzags is that it can be formed in a combination which is known as a double or triple zigzag where two or three zigzags are connected by another corrective wave between them the second type of corrective wave is the flat wave the flat is a three wave correction in which the sub waves are formed in a 3 3 5 structure which is labeled as an abc structure in a flat structure both the waves a and b are corrective and waves c is the motive having five sub waves this pattern or this wave is known as flat as it moves sideways on technical charts most flats usually don't look clear as there are variations on their structure so if you observe a flat may have a wave b terminate beyond the beginning of wave a and the c wave may terminate beyond the start of the wave b this type of flat is known as an expanded flat and the expanded flats are more common in markets as compared to normal flats the final type of corrective wave is the triangle waves the triangle wave is a pattern consist of five sub waves in the form of 3 3 3 3 3, 3 structure which is labeled as a b c d e the triangle wave can be either expanding in which the following sub waves get bigger or it can be the contracting type which is in the form of a wedge The triangles can be categorized as symmetrical, descending or ascending based on whether they are pointing sideways or up with a flat top or down with a flat bottom. So theoretically it is easy for spotting a triangle pattern but it generally takes a lot of practice for identifying them in the market. Now these combination of Elliott wave patterns occurs in the market regularly and repeatedly over a period of time. So if we can learn to spot them it will really improve our skill set as a trader and it will definitely help with our market forecast even though elliot wave practitioners stress that the market is simply a collection of repeated patterns it does not make the market easily predictable even scientists recognize a tree as a combination of patterns which repeats over and over again but that does not mean anyone can predict the path of its branches The important thing to note is that it takes time and practice to master the Elliott waves and patterns and the Elliott wave theory is open to interpretations in different ways by different traders so it is up to you to decide your style and interpret the Elliott waves according to your convenience that's all for this video if you learn something new do like the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel